What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. This video, we're doing another mock draft. Now, the Detroit Lions have signed two linebackers today. All right, they signed Reggie Ragland, and they signed Elijah Lee, I think it was his name. And that guy was a special teams player, but the other one was a linebacker that could definitely compete for that spot. But, you know, that's important because it is post that signing. But I will say this. Today, we're doing a weird one. Okay, now, we did a mock draft on Kinlaw. We did a mock draft on Okuda. I'm setting up one for Isaiah Simmons. But today, we're doing one that's offensive lineman. Yeah, that's right. We got to go into offensive linemen in the first round. I know. You're probably like, what the heck are you talking about? Yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. Now, there's a couple of ways we can go about this, all right? There's a couple of thoughts I have here. Either we go with a, a really good tackle and we try to move Big V to guard, all right? We're moving Big V to guard, we take a tackle. Or we go with a guy that could potentially play guard out of the tackle position because all of the top offensive linemen... They're, they're tackles, all right? They're not guards. Like, Cesar Ruiz is their top offensive lineman, and he'll go second round, maybe late first. Some information on the tackles, and this is what I came up with. Tristan Wirfs played 161 snaps at left tackle and 693 at right tackle, so he can play both. He graded out very high in the run, very high in the pass. He just graded out very, very well. However, he's six foot five, so I don't know if we want to put him at guard, but he does have that ability to play both tackles. Um, we also did Jedrick Wills, who graded out extremely high, a very good player. He was actually, I think, they're ranked their second best um, tackle in this draft, and he, again, he played at Alabama, so he played tons of competition. So he's definitely someone that we could think of. Or Andrew Thomas, who they believe is the best tackle, but he played at left tackle. So I'm not trying to move Taylor Decker. I'm trying to move Big V, if anybody. So we either go with the top tackle or we trade so far back to like the 20s and we go with Cesar Ruiz, who played a left guard, and we try to get a guard. I don't know what to do. So there's two ways to go about this. I kind of, you know, I'm kind of interested in trading back to like 20 and seeing how many picks we could acquire and go with Cesar Ruiz. I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking here. So the Dolphins have 26. We have three. So potentially, how many picks could we could we steal to move all the way back to 26? I'm assuming they're going to... Oh my gosh, they accepted that. Uh, maybe I didn't ask for enough. How many picks did I just get? Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got two sec three seconds, three thirds... Two fourths, three fifth, four fifths, <laughs> six and a seventh. Oh my lord! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, hold up. They accepted that. I feel like I could have got more now, but maybe not. I don't know. Wait, wait. Jedrick Wills is still there. Oh, hold up. Andrew Thomas is still there. Wait, stop, stop. I need to think. I need, I need a second to believe and breathe. Tristan Wirfs went three. They trade up to three to take Tristan Wirfs, which is kind of smart because they still got Tua. They have 18 as well, which is coming up, and 26, and I have 26. Now, the plan was to get Cesar Ruiz. However, Andrew Thomas is still available, but he is a left tackle. Calevon Chasen is still here. That could be an option. We could go with Kinlaw. We could get both. We don't have to just stick with the lineman and just be like, oh, yeah, that's all we got. So I'm thinking we try to trade it for Kinlaw. Chasen concerns me with all the injuries, so I don't even like really think about him. We couldn't go with Fulton. <laughs> that would mix it up. I kind of want to go with Kinlaw, though. We have the picks to move up, that's for sure. Holy cow, I was not expecting that. I would have asked for more. I didn't think they were going to accept that at all. Okay, um, so what if we throw in our second, a fourth, and a fifth? Let's try it. I'm going to try to give them as little amount of picks as possible. That's the goal here. Let's throw in a third and then a fifth. Come on, a second, a third, and a fifth for 16. I want to keep that other one for the... Okay, nice, they accepted it. Okay, so now we're here. I'm thinking we go with Javon Kinlaw. Boom. This is a weird draft, guys. We're going to get Kinlaw and a lineman. That's, that's the hope here. Yeah, oh my gosh, he's available. <laughs> Powerful in the run game. They said he's the best tackle in the draft. True positional flexibility. Has the skill set to play offense guard or right tackle. Well, Harris, since you're telling me that... We may have to go with Andrew Thomas. We just might have to do it. We just might have to do it. So I guess we can either put him at guard, at left guard, right guard, or we can put him at right tackle. Now I'm thinking, here's what I want to do. I want to keep, hold up, how big is this dude? Six foot five? He'd be a big guard, but I guess you could do it. So I want to keep Decker at left tackle. I guess I could put him at left guard or right guard. Well, we'll figure it out. We got a beast, right? We got a beast lineman. I was not expecting the draft to go like this. And we still got some picks. Look at this. We still got two seconds, two thirds, two fourths, two fifths, three fifths, a sixth and a seventh. This is beautiful. And we got Kinlaw. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, y'all weren't ready for this. 
Y'all are not ready for this. Okay, Grant Delpit's still here. We could go safety. I don't like Delpit for our defense that much. Zach Bond would give us a nice pressure. Um, we could go cornerback. Cornerback's a big need. You know what's crazy? Noah here. Noah Iganogi from Auburn. I talked about him like so long ago as like a sleeper later option. This dude's in the second round now all of a sudden. Like what? Scrappy and press coverage. Like I thought he was a good corner. But like this high, like I wasn't ready for all this. Now they're like hyping this, gassing him up. So hey, maybe. I mean, good for him. Good for him for sure. Now here's the thing. We already got another linebacker. So this would... Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's let's add to the competition. You want to talk about competition? We got competition around here. We got Jared Davis. We got Raglan. We got Zach Bond. We got Jelani Tavai. We got Jimmy Collins. We got all the competition you can look you can ask for in one place. Yeah. Make buying simple. Make buying simple. Why would I say that? I don't know. All right. Well, let's do it. Ross Blacklock's still available. If I need the defense lineman after not getting Kinlaw, I would have done that, but I don't. Okay. Cornerback. Who's out there for corner? Jalen Johnson. Okay. Jalen Johnson, who we saw was taken before. Damon Arnett's a different way to go. I haven't went with Damon Arnett. So maybe he falls a little bit. Maybe we trade back like a few spots here. Is that is that the plan? Do we try to move back again? I think a nice return for sure. We'll take we'll throw in a third, we'll throw in a fourth. Get rid of that. Two second round picks this close. Oh yeah, they accepted it. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, Curtis Weaver. Please don't pick No, you guys lost Hopkins. Oh no, they're gonna take him. Dang it, dog. I should have traded back up. I, sh I, f I completely forgot. I completely forgot about them. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, Jalen Johnson went. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know I messed that up bad. Dang it. Uh, okay, we still have a pretty good amount of picks, honestly. We got three really close right here. So we I want to take good players. So I'm thinking we go we go Chin, who can do a lot of different things for us because we didn't get Simmons. I don't need to go guard here. I need to get a corner, though. I think I'm going to go with Damon Arnett right now. Make sure we get him. Let's go with Damon Arnett. Let's get that corner. We can play man. Because I know Ohio State played all that man to man. He'll be good. Ohio State puts out them good cornerbacks too. Uche just went. Okay, we don't need him though. Let's go Jeremy Chin here. Yep, I'm liking this. And then I'm thinking we go lineman. Dantzler just went. Okay. We could go Prince Tego. When ago? When ago? Uh, out of Auburn. Hold up. I, did a I was looking at him yesterday as well. I can't remember what they said about with Prince. That's probably not smart to get two top tackles like that. Wait, let's see what we got so far. Okay, we got a defensive lineman to help get pressure. We got a tackle. We got an edge. Jack Bond was a good pick. So linemen's help. We're going to go like a little bit later for offensive line because we have the... We have a couple later picks, so we can do that in the fourth round. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking I'm going to try to trade back again, honestly. Okay, but we'll throw in our seventh. That makes the offer pretty even, I feel like. No, okay, maybe not. Maybe it does make it even. How about we take the fifth and then we'll just rock like that. We'll just rock like that. I'm going another fifth. But we'll throw in our seventh. So boom, you guys got a seventh too. So look, you got a late round pick now. How are you guys not gonna accept that? What's wrong with you people? All right, fine. We'll take it. We'll give you a six. That's that's about as high as I'm gonna go. That's almost even. Boom. Okay. Trade it back. We acquired. A, um, I think it was a fifth or a sixth. So we got four fifths. A third and a fourth. Okay, I didn't want to take anybody there anyways. I didn't think it, I didn't know who to take there. I mean, I guess we, you, you could. You definitely could. I kind of want to take Tyler now. That way I don't have to risk him. Because our next pick is 109. That's definitely going to be pushing it. Uh, I don't like reaching, but I feel like I want to get him now. Nite Mutai, we could go with the guy that's had to deal with some injuries. A little bit of injury concerns, but he's still really good. Really good when healthy. The injuries are very concerning. I mean, it's either between T Tyler or Nite Mutai. I think I want to go with a guy that's a little bit healthier. Tyler graded out really well. I'm going to go with Tyler. Yeah, you know I, you know what? Again, what did I say about reaching? If you like him, it's not a reach. So, boom, we took him. I like this, man. We got Kinlaw. We got offensive. Offense is looking good with Tyler and Thomas. Woo! That line's looking pretty pretty nice, if you ask me. Defense, we got some pressure. We got Arnett and Chin. I like this draft. This might be my favorite draft so far. I, I really like this. Ooh, Bradley and I still there. Did he just go? I think he just went. I lied. I think he just went. Or when's our next pick? 149. Yikes. I don't know if I want to wait for that. Is it really that important to go back up quarterback with Daniel? Probably not. I think I'm going to go with Zach Moss. Antonio Gibson's there. I know. We're going to go with Zach Moss. Let's get a running back. Let's get a running back. I like, yeah, I like Zach Moss. And nice having all these picks. And I feel like we're getting talented players. You know, we're not just getting like, oh, fill him in, fill him in. Like, we're getting good players here. Colin Johnson is still there. This guy killed it. I had not even think it because this guy dominated at the senior bowl. Statistically, he would do really well, I guess, in practices and everything. So we'll take Colin Johnson. 
that's a future pick for sure. Uh, who do we got at quarterback still available? Nate Stanley. Okay. Ah, eh, yeah, not right now. That's no. Who do we got for corner? Uh, Lamar Jackson's here. We might be able to wait for one of these picks to do that. Edge, Anthony Jennings. We could go with Anthony Jennings and, and another. Um, tackle, Jack Driscoll could make sense. But again, we already got a tackle. So I don't know if I want to go another tackle. Running back, quarterback. I think, you know, yeah. You know what? I want to get pressure. Let's do it. Anthony Jennings, welcome to the squad. I like this, man. We're filling out tons of needs. What the heck, dude? This is crazy. Okay. We got, we got pretty much everything filled out. It's like, seriously, we do. Corner, I, uh, I'm going to go Lamar... I always go Lamar Jackson. Amani and Trufant. I don't know if we want a guy that can't go inside. Well, hold up. Maybe we do because we already got Coleman. But again, we play so many different ways. I don't know if that's the move. Go, you know, I think I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. I mean, you know what? We, it's fine. We could still add another guy on the outside. We need a corner, so let's do it. Now I'm thinking we go quarterback and uh, punter then. And that'd be pretty much everything. I think. Who's the best available? I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Obvious. Yeah, I just don't think we need anybody like that. So let's go with Steven Montez here. I like Montez, so let's get him as a backup. I think the defense looks really good. I mean, we've got two edge rushers. we got a defensive lineman. we got a cornerback, a safety. Offensive line with Tyler and Thomas. This is probably my... Holy cow, we got a lot of players. This is my favorite draft. This is absolutely my favorite draft. So I think unless there's someone great available... With Damon Arnett and Lamar Jack, dude, I love this draft. I'm gonna go with the punter. This is uh, by far my favorite draft up to this point. This is awesome. We filled out tons of needs. So let's see if we can find the punters down here. Where are they at? Where are y'all at? Okay, uh, y'all said they were down way down here. Here we go. I found one. Wait, stop moving. Stop moving. I lost him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Snap. I know I want Brandon Mann. Is Brandon Mann here? Okay, okay. Tommy, hold up. Pause. 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 What's his name? Josh Metellus. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's not. Tommy Townsend. Where's Brandon Mann at? Brandon Mann's my guy. That's who I want to get. Where's Brandon Mann? Kicker? No, I don't need a kicker. I need a punter. Brandon Mann. Okay, 321. We'll remember that. Let's keep it going. Hopefully he doesn't go anywhere. We could go wide receiver. Do we go wide receiver or punter? Based on this, I guess it makes sense to go with wide receiver because Mann would be a free agent, right? Undrafted free agent. So we could just sign him. I just think it makes more sense to go with a player like like Benjamin Victor, Austin Mack. And we already got Colin Johnson. Who's six foot six. <laughs> six foot six. Austin Mack's like six two, I think, six one. Let's go with Austin Mack. Yeah, we'll take we'll go we'll go with another wide receiver. You know what? We can get a punter and undrafted free agent, okay? I didn't want to pick him. We'll just take another player that could fight for that wide receiver spot. I don't know about y'all. I think this is the best mock draft we've had so far. I really do. Maybe offensive lineman in the first round is the way to go. But not only that, we were also able to pick up Javon Kinlaw. I love it. <laughs> this draft is awesome. So let's take a look again once this ends. Yeah, so Brandon Mann would be an undrafted free agent. Holy cow. So Kinlaw on the D-line with Deshaun Hand, Trey Flowers, um, Danny Shelton, Nick Williams. Then we went Andrew Thomas, who apparently can play guard. He played all left tackle, so we're going to try to move him to guard. But we also got Tyler Biedez, who can also fill in. We'll just have a really good offensive line with Taylor Decker, Frank Ragnow, and and uh, Big V. So that could be your starting five right there. It could honestly be Taylor Decker, um, Tristan Wirfs. Hold up. Did we, who do we take? No, not Tristan Wirfs. Andrew Thomas. I'm sorry. I was thinking Tr Andrew Thomas, Frank Ragnow, Tyler, and Big V. That could be pretty – or Big V to guard and then move uh, – and then move – and then move Andrew Thomas to right tackle, and they're both... Okay, I mean, we could. Zach Bond in the edge, so he's going to help get pressure with the huge linebacker group we have. Cornerback Arnett, who played man at Ohio State, so that works well because there's some depth there. Jeremy Chin, who can like kind of play like a off-brand Simmons. Tyler Biedez, again, the guard I was talking about. Then we got Zach Moss at running back. Colin Johnson for wide receiver. Anthony Jennings, another edge. Lamar Jackson, another cornerback. Steve Montez, uh, developmental quarterback. And Austin Mack. I don't know about y'all. This is my favorite draft so far. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Maybe this is the way to do it. Thank you, Brad, for watching. And I'm out.